What is happening, y'all? Welcome back. So we picked up some little lolly mage. Uh, there were two different mage choices, and this one has really high magic, 1087. That's that's close to what our sorcerer has, whereas most of them had like 700. Um, pretty good skill split here. We have some fire and some lightning and ice affinity, and then halidom, anodyne, and spell screen. Uh, and the biggest thing was utilitarian challenger, which in my opinion is like the perfect setup for a mage pawn because it'll look at ways it can influence the battlefield with utilitarian and then focus on killing stuff that's far away with challenger so we'll see how it goes it didn't have max knowledge or anything uh but its owner was a mystic knight so that gives me some hope i figure you know hey if it's working well for him maybe it'll work well for me um the one thing that was weird where's the uh the gear it, it doesn't have a ring it's missing it's missing a ring it only has one ring and i don't know why it only has one ring but it is what it is. So I'm going to give it a ring. Um, probably, uh, let's just, let's, let's give it, let's give it the sleep ring. There we go. Alright, so I have another one that, if this one is not working out, I have a different one that I added to a favorites list that I'll try out that looked like it could be really good. The other one, the stats weren't as high, but it was like super min-maxed. It was like a utilarian medicant, which is... It's more of a healer oriented pawn, but it could still work well. Um, and the probably the biggest thing about it is he had some sick rings on it. It had like Grand Brontide and uh, this? oh, it's another another one of these undead dragon things. Damn it. It had Grand Brontide. It had uh, like the Red Star version of the healing spell. It had uh, Holy Pact and Dark Pact, which were like super pimped versions of those. What was this thing? Oh, I remember this! You have to, like, I think you have to kill him before you can kill the dragon or something like that. I have, like, very, very faint memories of this. I need to get my... my... Back here protecting the mages. Do something. Oh. Can't just sit here and protect you forever. You gotta attack. Alright, that's good. She instantly uh, fixed that. Let me give her a thing to fix cursing. I don't think we can cure that. Focus on the lich before it like raises up the. Yeah, the lich keeps raising the dragon, and we gotta kill the lich. Bring it back alive. Oh, my God, what is this? I don't even know what it's doing, but it hurts. doing um, 
I think it's the... The constant thing. Oh god. Some more goodies. I need you to decay. Go away. Hey, Dragonforge. Cool. My shield's Dragonforged now. I don't know. Does that does it not affect my my pawns? I think you have to like wear gear to get it Dragonforged for your pawns. I think that's the only way to get. Yeah, I think it only it only affects what you have on. I'd have to. My kind grows better able hmm. to serve the more So the learn. best bet would be I'd have to go after a dragon and swap back to assassin and use daggers and a bow. I mean anything an assassin can wear, a uh, a strider could wear. So if I really want to do that, if I want to like min max and get my pawns some real slick gear, I could hunt down a dragon to fight. I wonder if I could do it from the Drake. Let me see. Drake, Dragon's Dogma, Dragon Forged. Uh, Dragonforged Equipment. Let's see. Dragonforged Requirements. In the case of Drake's Worms or Weverns, and the Ur-Dragon offline equipment must have been enhanced at least one star before qualifying for Dragonforging. The Dragons on Bitter Black Isle will also Dragonforge not enhanced equipment. Slaying the Dragon and the online Ur-Dragon will Dragonforge all equipped weapons and equipment, including unenhanced items. Online Ur Dragon. I don't know if that does it even still fight? Slain by the first player will initiate a special period in its grace period. Uh, when it's summoned during grace, it will have 0.1 health under its health bar and randomly have anywhere from 1 to 15 hearts. All health is destroyed in one round. The player, blah, 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 blah. Um, but let me see how hard the offline Ur Dragon is. I could go back and fight that thing. Has the same skills, behavior, and appearance as the online dragon. Significantly less hit points is the only, and it is the only arisen, and only the arisen in their party contribute to its defeat. Like the online dragon, each encounter lasts 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, it has 1.4 million health. What about the regular dragon that we fought? How much health does that guy have? That has... Wow, that has 100,000 health. The offline Ur has 1.4 million. So we're not going anywhere near that. That'll take ages. So if I wanted to... If I wanted to Dragon Forge, my best bet is going to be the Bitter Black Isle Dragons. The rare and gold rarefied items are Silver Dragon Forged or Gold Dragon Forge. This service is offered by Barrick. Yeah. So I'd have to, I'd basically have to, to set myself up in all Strider gear before a dragon fight. Fight the dragon, dragon forge all the gear, and move it on over. Um, if I was going to do that, I think it would be silly to do it before I get, like, the best. Because I know there's there's bitter black stuff. Like, there's, I mean, a lot of people do rust. That you basically give your, your pawns super pimped daggers. And then a rusted bow, so it can inflict torpor. I think it is. So that might be a good choice. Might be uh, the approach I want to take. I think my, my lantern. Yeah. No, no, not put away. 
Damn it. Pull it back out. Or do I add oil? I mean, she didn't do stupendous or anything, but she did manage to get through that fight. The dark grows deeper. What's that? Gotta fix them all. Broken rift stones. This little island, I've done even the fact. Now, will you have a look? I'll see you don't. What'll it be then? Well, this thing, I was thinking about getting it basically like it, it sucks people in. It's right now. Oh, I got the enchant things now. I don't know if I want that. We already have things that'll do that holy wall that forms i don't know i feel like i mean i always hear about how good holy fortress is but i feel like it wasn't doing anything for me i don't know if maybe it's it's something that that i want to have um helps keep your footing when you block attacks is that what i need Let me get that and then I'll put that on instead of this because I do I'm like trying to block stuff and it's just like bonk it's just bonking the shit out of me um let's make this full moon and then the sigil was feeling like crap so we'll do magic cannon I mean honestly I probably don't even want magic cannon right now but I want to get used to using it what it be I, mean, I always hear so much. Let me let me upgrade it. I always hear so many people are like, "Oh yeah, man, holy, holy wall. That's that's the spell. Holy wall. It's like the best. Or holy fortress, you know. Holy fortress. It's the best spell in the game. You gotta Holy use it." No, we no die. But it didn't feel like I was doing much of anything with it. So maybe it's the later encounters because I know there's um I know the the final bitter black guy. I know he has like some crazy stuff, so it might be the case that you want to use it for encounters like that, where you can essentially put it up and then use that to protect all of your pawns. That might be how I'm supposed to be using it. So I just I gotta I just gotta mess with it more and get used to it. We got a bunch of bitter black stuff about to get, and we got the shortcut. Let's go. Hopping out at the beach. Older memories are bubbling to the surface. Though they show a past which is not my own. I recall fighting. I was in the service of a great warrior. And together we overcame many trials. Her ill-deserved end was a crushing blow to me as well. I feel my only a stronger And so much stuff. Oh my god, so many rift crystals. Well, anti-light hastens the speed at which you gather in mine. Okay. Defense and stagger. Magic by 38 and defense. Is this shadow pin, shadow sackle, backfire immolation. Oh, magic archer. Dragon's Den. Sounds cool. Nomad's Cloak. Adrian Gamison. Trophy Jacket. Only a strong prey. 
Did you put all that shit in my storage already? You did, didn't you? Only a stronger will. If there is odd, if there is odd, I... if there is odd, I can. Ah, the fighter assassin shield. Man, I was all excited. I was like, yeah, let's go, new odd, shield. I'm dookie. This ain't bad. I mean, the some of the debilitations are going up, some are going down. Probably want that, and then I can. If there is all I can do. Those might be hang on a second. If there is all I can do, only pray. I go through all this stuff. Anything that I'm not using, I'm going to put. And I'm going to store it. I th only a stronger will. A w if there is only uh, a stronger will. Stored if there equipment. Okay. So I think these two are my best bet for now. So I want to... No, this is a staff. I don't want to use a staff. Um, as for the helm, that would help my magic, but my defenses would plummet. Griffic armor, not that good. Bone armor seems slightly better, but... This hasn't been upgraded. I think this will be better once it's upgraded. What about for clothing? Clothing, what am I using? I'm using my dragon leather vest. There's also this thing, the 24 strength bonus. And it has a ton of debilitations on it. Hmm. It's more of like an assassin thing. I mean, still, that's a massive boost to strength. 24? These might be better, boosting my magic up by seven. I think I need to get, I need to rock some stuff that's gonna help my magic. If there is aught I can do. Still really torn on that, but I think I want the heavier armor. I think I want to start targeting stuff that's um, stuff that's meant to be used by mystic knights if there is all I can do boosts magic. Defense by 16, magic by 38. I'll put that one on. If there is all I can do. Need to find a rusted bow. What about for you? You already have a dragon forge leather vest. Trophy jacket. Damn, why did I get this thing? It's massive increases on defense, but it's gonna boost her magic, which isn't really needed. That would boost her strength more. I don't remember ever getting that trophy jacket, but it's a solid upgrade for sure. Um, I'm gonna keep what I got there. Turn in a waste guard. 
comparing it against these boots. 60, more magic defense. More striking. Uh, better ice? I don't know here. I wish there was just a straight... I always can't see the resistances. I'm better against sleep. I'm weaker against darkness. I'm better against ice. I'm weaker against fire. I think we're. I think we swap. I think that's going to be better for us. And then she has possession, and then knockdown and torpor resistance, which I think those are fine. I can look real fast. Good defense and stagger power. What am I using right now? Knockdown power. Yeah, let's go defense and stagger power. If there is odd own prey, take do look pretty badass now. Alright. The path ahead is long and hard. Let us rest while we can. Knowing a riftstone is close at hand is welcome relief to a pawn. I think someone's at my front door. God damn it. All right, let me, um, I know we're only 21 minutes in, but I'm going to wrap up. I got to see who the hell's at my house. And uh, next episode, we're obviously just going to continue on. We got even more coming up. So this place goes deeper and deeper. So stay tuned. I'll see you all then.